Lisa, May, Danielle for popping in on this tour. We are going to take a walk in the Crab, or the Reference Center for the Brazilian Folk Art, on a trip throughout Brazil through its folk art and uh, arts and crafts of Minas Gerais, Rio Grande do Norte, and also Ceará, states of Brazil. Hi, Monique. Thanks for joining. Uh, today, this trip, I'm going to give you a little bit of context here in Rio de Janeiro, where we are located, and then we will dive into the exhibitions. This is going to be a 30 minutes tour, uh, just to give you an idea. And I'm going to develop uh, as we go with your support, with your questions, with your comments, and uh, that you will set the pace, okay? My name is Kelly Tavares. I'm a tour guide here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in the southeast of the country. And I was born in the port area of Rio and raised also here in the city, historic city center. One notable thing that really made me uh, get completely passionate about antiquing, about art, about the cultural and history of my, of my country and our people here. So Brazil is a great uh, country, it's a big territory, and there isn't such a thing of one Brazilian culture. There are many, many cultures that make Brazilian culture. And that's very important to remember with its music, gastronomy, art, and all cultural possibilities that even us Brazilians could ever imagine without traveling around. Thanks, Monique, for joining. I'm a tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, leading also walking tours, cultural tours and experiences. And just uh, 40 minutes ago, I was preparing and teaching how to make a caipirinha with a specialist here exactly in this neighborhood. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of this outside pot. Okay. And soon, look how beautiful the sky is today. Very blue and beautiful. And switching the camera, I will show you from the rooftop of the Crab Reference Center for Brazilian Folk Art, I'm going to show you the square of Praça Tiradentes. Bonjour, Monique, ça va? Où tu parles? Je ne parle pas français, mais je peux parler un petit peu pour être euh, éduqué, polite, <laughs> seulement. Uh, regarde, uh, please take a look here at the Tiradentes Square in the heart of the city center of Rio de Janeiro. Is the square where the first live theaters were created in Rio. So here famous people like Grande Otelo, Chiquinha Gonzaga, and, uh, and the people from the uh, live theater of the black people developed throughout this Bohemian neighborhood around here. So in Rio de Janeiro, when you come to the city center, you see different hubs. Oh, thank you, merci. Uh, you see different hubs for art and Bohemian culture throughout its historic center. They were all developed, and when you see those historic buildings there on the back, at the end of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century. And they will hold the history of the thriving uh, coffee economy that was developing in the country here. And especially in this part of Rio, where I also lead the antiques uh, tour at the Lavradio Street. Is, you see that street? That street there, just walking here a few steps to the right, is the Lavradio Street, where I give the antique tour that some of you had already taken with me, and it, which was very fun. Every Saturday, there is an antique fair here on the neighborhood, and you have amazing findings. This is the Crab, the reference center for Brazilian arts and crafts. Uh, it's folk arts as well. I don't know what's going on with the floor here, but it's really sticky. I'm walking and my feet are sticking on the floor. I haven't seen this before, either than 
uh, when I'm cooking and I spill sugar in the floor and then my kitchen gets like that. <laughs> okay, now we are diving inside of this the reference center for Brazilian arts and crafts. And I already asked the lady in the reception if I could do this transmission for you. I hope any security guard uh, stops us. So please keep with me and see if we'll be able to cover part of this exhibition. I'm going to make a curatorial work here for you, showing a few things, OK? Hola, Vanessa. Vanessa, tour guide from Lima Leading Art Tours is preparing for us some art tours where she will be drawing and teaching you how to make sketches. So keep posted, we both are artists. I'm a tour guide here, but I also do wood printing and I'm organizing with Vanessa so we can do some arts and crafts and share those with you girls. Now here at the library, it's just a library, but we already can share some of the art of our people like this jaguar that is simply lovely and if you want to make a postcard of the jaguar you can already snap it hi Bilal, itama thanks for joining how many of you here had taken the tour of the caipirinha with me hey itama have you learned how to make a caipirinha with me, uh, with Yonso on the tour, the previous tour? Oh, nice, welcome. Look, we are the, the library and they will show some of the folk art with wood printing and wood carving. And I'm sharing this with you because this is a technique that I really love to do. And I plan on organizing a wood printing, wood carving, to teach you, ladies and gentlemen, how to make this art. And uh, some of us guides from South America will be, uh, ladies are organizing tour with special attractions so you can understand a little bit of our diverse cultures within the South America. So here in Brazil, we speak Portuguese. And uh, in the other countries, Mostly countries will speak Spanish. Now we are entering here the room of Mestre de Oficio, Master Expedito Celeiro. And Master Expedito Celeiro, many of the arts that I will be sharing here with you, for you here, guys, these are many of them are masters from the very interior of Brazil uh, with sharing ancient knowledge that they carried throughout their traditions. So people who live in smaller cities also of Brazil, in remote areas, and where they developed their job selling the crafts and arts, such as Mestre Expedito from Ceará, the Northeast of Brazil. So here we have a map from Brazil, okay? And I am around here in the southeast, while the northeast is here with different states in the northeast. And Mestre Expedito from Ceará State, and in Ceará State, in the city. Okay, now I'm moving forward on this exhibition. What I'm going to tell you is, please let me know in case the connection drops and it gets pixelated, in case it gets, I move too fast. Also, please let me know if you want to say, Kelly, would you please show that with more details? Or would you please repeat? I'd like to make a postcard of that. Or would you do it slowly because it's pixelating you moving too fast? So I count with your support to give me some uh, technical feedback so I know that I'm doing the right thing and of delivering the best. So here are fossils that were found in the Northeast, in the Chapada of Araripe in Ceará. 
real fossils here from animals from thousands of years ago. So the Sierra region is known for the fossils that are found there by many paleontologists. And unfortunately also, this is a state that goes through constant risk of uh, fossil trafficking as well. This is a, an issue of that region. Now we are entering, look at this nice entrance. Look at this, it's part of a picture and now I'm gonna enter other exhibition rooms. Hey Carol, thanks for joining. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for your feedback. As we enter the cultural center, the statics that you find is the work of the curatorial, the curators within the arts and the statics of the people of the Northeast. So you see here the religiosity with the Christian and the Catholic Church and how many of them organize their icons, either with this, uh, like the Padre of Chris Cicero, which is worshipped there in the Northeast in Ceará, and with this ornate of artificial flowers. So this is a very strong culture in the Northeast and very different from other regions. So the culture that we share with you here, being in Rio de Janeiro, is a culture that I'm sharing through a cultural center, because on the streets, that's going to be different. And of course, we have immigrants from the Northeast who come, bring, and share their culture here in Rio de Janeiro through their music, through their arts, like some of the arts that you see here. What is the story with the children there? Let me see. Ah, okay. So what do you see? Oh, some of these icons are really a sense and the image of Jesus Christ, of Mary, and some of them will be portraits of uh, priests or children from the family. So in, the, in a time, these are very old pictures, in a time when Brazil, in Brazil, it was very rare to have a, a photo taken. Here, there aren't notes about these specific children. It's mainly showing you the aesthetics of the art of photography being practiced by the people in the Northeast on that time. So the cur curator here did this assemblage of the different iconography and the history of photography and other, uh, the priests and people who are worshiped in the Northeast. So it can kind of set the, the stage for us to enter this Northeastern world through the arts, the curatorial work, art of the museum. Well, if we were in the Northeast, you would see entering the houses of people, many of these icons and saints uh, or pictures of the children or the family or couples uh, displayed and showcased in their living rooms, in their bedrooms, in their houses. But since we are not there, the cur curator reorganized that setting, like bringing us pictures of the landscape in the Northeast, which is a dry land, very desertic, and already setting the pace for us for a landscape that is very and completely different of what we find here in Rio de Janeiro. For example, this, look at this desertic area. It's telling me that I'm entering another space representing the arid, the desertic areas where the, the, the cowbells and the cow uh, cultures are very strong in the interior of the country and where you can find vegetation, landscapes, and houses such as these, which are very different from the place here in Rio de Janeiro, where I live. Hey, Satan, Dan, thank you for coming back. Hi, Penny, welcome. I hope you enjoy 
your experience with me here in Rio de Janeiro. I am here, this is uh, at the Crab. And this is the space that we are entering to represent the Northeast of Brazil. Kelly, is this what is called the Pantanal? Ah, Vanessa, thanks for your question. No, the Pantanal is a very uh, wet land where you find alligators, another completely, totally different fauna and flora. It's very green and wet. While here in the Northeast in Ceará, the, the area that we are showcasing, it's very dry and many of them are cowboys. That's why the curator, organized curators organized this assemblage of some of the old and also some of them current artifacts used by the cowboys in their houses, such as these to set fire and in houses uh, and light the houses where they don't have electricity or such of the crafts, such as these things that I don't remember. Uh, you put this in the, the horse and you have these things here to carry things and they're made out of leather. So these are some of the pieces of Master Expedito from the Ceará state. And this is the leather of a cow that they put here as a, how can I say, just a sample to show you the matter which Mestre Expedito uses to create his arts and crafts made out of leather, such as, look at this art on the leather. It also, it also, also shows you the great ability. Hi, Alune, thanks for joining from Senegal. I'm sharing some of the leather art of Mestre Expedito from Ceará State in Brazil and the detailed work that he managed to do on uh, molding and sculpting and sewing and tying together this piece of leather that goes on the top of the horse. So you can have your horse uh, all, I wouldn't say ornated, yes, ornated with beautiful work of art. Showing a little bit of the region, a map from the Serra do Cariri, in the deserted areas of Cariri. And this uh, homage to Expedito Celeiro, it showing the region where they have a museum uh, showing the history and the cycle of the leather uh, exploitation. And now, one typical garment, look at this. This is very curious because you wouldn't see people wearing this garment here in Rio de Janeiro, but you actually would see them using this garment in the Northeast of Brazil. Why? Do you, can you understand? You can also take a postcard from somewhere here if you want, representing the garments of the Brazilian people of the Northeast. I can stop still here in case you want to have a postcard. Since it's a desertic area in the northeast of Brazil, there are many cactuses and plants which are really harsh. Yes, Vanessa. And look at them. Uh, they, are, they are showcasing pictures of actual people wearing these garments there. And they wear those made out of very hard leather because they, with their horses, which also go protected with some of these garments, they step and they, uh, they horse ride on these places where the vegetation is really full of spikes. So if they don't have these hard leathers to protect their skin, then you would get in trouble. Now, a little bit of the art of Master Expedito. He does this creation of garments such as this, and they are just used by cowboys in the Northeast of Brazil. So what I'm showing here, you is very unique and looks like some like medieval old kind of garment, 
but it's actually used until today. It's developed, was developed with the knowledge of people who had to live on those areas through those landscapes. It's very hot and heavy indeed. One thing that when you are in desertic areas and you keep any wear clothes that can keep the moisture of your body inside and clothes, you don't get as dehydrated. So that's why in desertic areas, people wear garments where they are all covered to protect from the hard sun, the heat, and keep some of the humidity within your, around your body. Some of the cowboys of the Northeast. So uh, what I'm sharing you here is very unique. You can take another postcard if you want. Because on Heiko, we don't have guides from that region. We do have Sayuri Koshima from the Northeast in Salvador, Bahia, but not from the region of Sierra, the desertic areas. Because usually a lot of these areas are rural areas. So people like the cowboys, they have more limited access to resources and to technology. So what I'm doing is to share a little bit of that culture, which is also far in a way from mine, either than from the context that I have when I myself travel as a visitor to the Northeast. And when uh, I have friends here from the Northeast who come and share their culture here in Rio de Janeiro as well. Now more on the leather art of Mestre Expedito. And look, how do you call these that you use on the top of the horse to ride the horse? Saddle, thanks Satan, saddle. Now, Look at this pair of shoes and belt, which were made by Master Spedito, and they are called sandals or sandalia, handmade. Yes, Satan's really supportive here of our work. And common hats used by the cowboys in the northeast of Brazil. And my goal here is to share how diverse we are. So yeah, I can share some parts of our culture through our arts and crafts. What will tell a lot of this, uh, that we couldn't say, oh, there is one Brazilian culture. No, there are many cultures that make us Brazilians who we are in, an ex in a constant exchange among us, among ourselves and our people. So Mestre Expedito, working on his sewing machine, on his studio in Cariri, Sierra. Uh, now, Hego had developed a new uh, app, so you have access to followers and the places where the tipping button, the chat button is lo are located a little different now. And so uh, uh, to tip, support my work, or to chat and participate, contribute to with your questions. You just need to tap the screen and then find these buttons there so you can bring up your contributions, okay? Now they are doing here kind of a representation of Mestre Espedito Studio, recreated to give us an idea of some of the matters he used to create his art, which generated a whole set of aesthetics to create these types of sandals. And when you come to Rio and you want to take a tour with me to get to know some of the Northeastern culture already in Rio de Janeiro, just to have a taste of that through its food, through its arts and craft, we can do, uh, we can visit the Northeastern cultural fairgrounds where you find shops to purchase unique sandals. 
such as this, made out of the rubber of tires, car tires, and handmade. This is uh, very, very unique. But this one, how beautiful it is. In the actual uh, master studio, some of his creations in this photograph. Is the pace set with the camera good for you? The signal here is showcasing that it's fine as well. And some of the steps of how the art is made on the bag, assembled and glued, stick together. And the other side, how it gets. Look at this beautiful work. Also, all handmade with the patterns. The front part of it and the back part with the leather how it looks like hi bruno thanks for joining and what you can make with it such as this beautiful bag so we have six minutes more this goes really fast so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stroll through some of the rooms to give you a A broader view of the, the spaces, of the crafts that you can find. Combien coûte les sandales? Coûte les sandales. What do you mean, Monique? Sorry, my French is really limited. But I can show you the sandals here and you can take a postcard if you want. beautiful handmade sandals and you won't find these kind of sandals anywhere in the world either than in the northeast and in the southeast of rio ah cute it's like custa like in portuguese sorry how much well in this case since it's the cultural center of the museum they are not showcasing the prices with these pieces here because some of these pieces are really just to display and showcase some of them are historic and not even uh, done and made anymore because this is, some of them are fashions from another time, but it's blended here with fashions of these days and of old days as well. But they do have here in the Crab Reference Center a shop. Hello. And they do have a shop that I can show you in another tour. And if you look at this nice set of uh, products here as well, like these bag and boots. So, and if you want me to like continue showing you the shop and other parts of the exhibition with more details, I can stay a little bit longer, create another time for another part of the tour to give the continuation to what I'm doing in case you support me and leave some tips so I can stay longer and work a little bit more here for you, okay? Just so you know that I can showcase more of these in more details. Yes, really fine words. And then I can even get to the shop and give you the price of the sandals and other products that they will be selling there to give you an idea. The price will vary a lot because these are very handcrafts which are really fine matter and so they have artistic uh, price mastery Espedito is very famous already and he has a career which is consolidated and sold throughout the world and throughout brazil look at this wheel this chair And other chairs as well. Look at this. Can you imagine a, a sofa, a couch like these in your living room? Now we will enter another part of the Northeastern culture where poetry comes along. 
The people from the Northeast are very known for the rhymes developed on their literature of cordel. Cordel are these books with uh, poetry, poetries and stories, and they will carry stories inside of it, in, like rhymes, sharing the knowledge of the people from the Northeast. Hi, Hans, welcome to our tour. Uh, and these are from Expedito Celeiro, the master. It's about his work. And it's usually the, the illustration of the Literatura de Cordel are made with wood prints. And I'm gonna teach you in another tour that I'm organizing here with Vanessa and other guides how to make a wood print. And Vanessa will teach you how to make uh, drawings and sketches. So keep posted to get to know a little bit of our Brazilian culture through the arts that we make and share. Now I'm going to set the camera here on this amazing video installation in this room. What is showcasing and making like um, a resume of the art that we saw here from Mestre Espedito. I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in Rio de Janeiro. And I'm sharing with you the reference center for the Brazilian folk art in Rio de Janeiro in the city center, showcasing the art of Mestre Expedito, who works with leather in the northeast of Brazil. We've just crossed the exhibition halls, and now we are at the exhibition of a video which showcases uh, some of the arts that we saw, some of the landscape of this desertic area in the Northeast. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. We're getting to an end. I still have some time that I can go. So in case you want to see the rest of the exhibition, uh, I would like to let you know that I have some time that I can create another time set. I think in 15 minutes, I could create another time here on HeyGo dashboard. So to offer you and show you the other parts of the exhibitions that are taking place in the Folk Arts Cultural Center. Uh, this is, um, I'm gonna put my mask again because inside here we do need to wear the masks. Oh, thank you, Vanessa, so much for sharing the link. Hi, Camila, thanks for joining. We're getting to an end. I'm just sharing here that I'm a tour guide in Rio de Janeiro leading the live tours but also on the streets, cultural experiences, and, and also arts, uh, art tours. Today at 6.30 6 Brazilian time, I will make a barbecue in my place, inviting friends. And then I will make a live stream session to show you how we make barbecue in our back patios with our friends. This is, I'm a tour guide here in Rio de Janeiro. This is my real job, uh, bringing and showing people from all over the world around here. Oh, Itamar, thank you so much. Thank you. In case any of you present here wants to see the rest of the exhibition, I can create another time slot to show you in 15 minutes. Yeah, I just need to ask uh, in case you wanna see to contribute more so it can make sense for me to stay longer or soon I will just finish seeing other parts and then I will go back to prepare the barbecue. It's, uh, it's with you, it's with me. Thanks for being here together. Please, if you liked the experience, share with your friends. There are different ways to promote. Click on the screen, contribute with your questions, with the comments, share to your friends. Tip if you can. And because that helps to stimulate, motivate us to research more, to travel more, and share more of our culture with you. See you soon. See you later. And I'd like to know if you have any more questions or requests. So my name is Kelly Tavares, and I lead a tour company here in Rio called Rio Encantos. And I highly recommend you come here to Rio de Janeiro, and you also follow me on my social media. Thank you, Vanessa, for sharing. Keep posted together with us, guides from South America, who are putting up a nice uh, curator 
curatorial work and selection of tours in our country so we can share the diversity of our culture in South America and the diversity of our languages within, even within our own countries. Thank you so much for your presence and your support. And Rio and Cantos is my agency. R I O E E N C A N T O S. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or other social media. See you later on the barbecue, Brazilian barbecue that we will promote. And you'll see a little bit of my house and my people all together having fun. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Vanessa. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Tama. Welcome. Thanks for being here present. Thank you. See you later, Vanessa.